Oh, guys, welcome back to Audio and and I know right now is uh, over here. Who we are right now is at 11 36, 11 36 p.m. And because I heard a news, um, you guys heard a quiz from my phone, my kid, because I can't tell you five news only, 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 like only on weekends, and I say it in Sunday mornings, uh, Chris. He died and the rest said and then he is I think he's a forty three and the and, and I I I also see in my on I see on I see on the Instagram and the K T Five News um page and I'll show you right now. Okay, so uh, so I so I say uh, we are so so news to report Chris Boris and was a official on 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 the K three five morning news since twenty eleven passed away Thursday. He was an a I was a, he was a blind member of K three family and we be do we miss? He was 43. Yeah, so yeah, a very sad news. So, yes, I was very sad that he was 43 years old. And then, uh, no. I say he's not old, man. So, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you more uh, details. And I uh, know I'll show you video. And uh, right now, I'm just, uh, I don't know yet, maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll get more and like more details. Yeah, and I'll show you more of you. I'll, I'll, I'll show you the video. I know. I, I know. For now, I'll say goodnight. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye, guys. We begin CBS 2 News at 11 with breaking news. KTLA anchor has died. Chris Burroughs died today at a Glendale hospital. CBS 2's Tom Wade is live with details on the police investigation. Tom. And Sharon and Jeff, here's what we know at this point. Police are telling us that Burroughs was found inside the hotel just behind me here, the Days Inn in Glendale, at around 1.15 this afternoon. That's when they got the 911 call that someone was unresponsive in the room. As we take a look at some Sky 2 video here, we are told by police that Burroughs was in the room with another person, a man who was trying to resuscitate him, trying to give him CPR. That was not working. Paramedics rushed here and got him to the hospital as soon as they could. He died at the hospital. Of course, Burroughs, a very well-recognized face in Los Angeles, very well-known on the KTLA Morning News Desk from 2011. He started then and has had a very illustrious career here in Los Angeles. Just a few days ago on Christmas, he posted a video with himself and his family talking about some of the food that they were going to eat, talking about their Christmas trees. Uh, obviously a heartbreaking situation there. He has a wife and a nine-year-old daughter. He has been at stations across California and across the country, and again, coming here in 2011. Police trying to be as sensitive as they could as this came out, and they discussed the circumstances under which they found him. That was something that we recognized right away because, uh, you know, everybody knows Chris, you know, and uh, so we knew that this was going to be something that was going to be a very sensitive matter. We're waiting for a toxicology report to come back from the, uh, the coroner's office. Uh, until uh, we get that, we won't be able to tell if, uh, what the cause of death was. Uh, it is currently being uh, investigated as a possible overdose. We did ask what type of paraphernalia was found in the room, if any. They said right now that is part of the investigation. They would not release those details. They would also not release the details of the relationship between the man who was with Burroughs in the room when he was found. Reporting live in Glendale, I'm Tom Waite, CBS 2 News.